Hey, this is Praxis and today is day 499 on this project and I'm jumping around doing all sorts of different things today because there are just a lot of different things that are possible to do now. One of them, if you look behind you, there's a couple of trees over here. I'm starting to transport trees to site because we have water. My dad was here on site yesterday. He helped me get water rolling and now we can actually water things. So I'm slowly starting to move trees over here, just using this vehicle to move stuff. So it's a couple of trees per trip and that's gonna work out fine because there's lots of trips. This thing has been rocking today. I actually made myself some tea because we have uh, access to water here now because the water's uh, flowing, like I said. And uh, there's just there's a lot going on. I'm going to pop inside and just show you kind of a, a smattering of all the stuff that we have going on in here. Uh, just stepping in right here, you can see right off, I've started uh, boarding up this wall right here. I can go up uh, pretty much just to there because we are going to have an outlet here and want to be able to be uh, accessing that, but got a couple of boards up on there. Uh, I've got this board, which is a nailer. I had not had this there for a while. Nailer, nailer. So that's ready to sheave this whole wall up. Again, I got to wait because we got to put wires through this wall. But you know the basic things to nail stuff down to. Now they're there. This thing behind you is starting to look like a closet now because I finished the wall on the other side. I'll show you what that looks like over here as we step through the little hearth area. And if you want to just take a peek there, I got paint piled in front of it, but the wall's right there and it creates a tunnel that we can probably put firewood or, you know, most likely firewood in. Uh, if you would take a peek over here, this is essentially done. I think I'm going to be using this um, metal brush to give it maybe a few more brushings down uh, before I seal everything. But that's, that's it. It's all set. Now you notice that there's some cement up here. Uh, that, this is going to get covered up with a board and, you know, I didn't... Uh, worry whether or not that was getting stained up or anything like that. But uh, yeah, uh, this down in this corner, I was working on this this morning, really complicated little pieces, kind of getting them uh, shaved in there because, you know, whenever it's interacting with something that's not straight, like, you know, bumpy bricks and uh, uh, mortar, it's going to be, uh, you know, a little bit more of a tricky job to get things to, to match up. Well, what I'm working on right now is this up here, just getting this stuff filled in. And I I think that you're probably getting the impression of, like I said, what I'm doing is jumping around this project. There's been all these kind of loose ends, like this is not totally done, this is not totally done. And now today I'm really starting to be able to rip through stuff. I couldn't work on any of the carpentry on this area until the cement was done on this because, you know, I couldn't have uh, stones kind of jiggling in cement here and me bang on the other side. So finishing up all these projects has unlocked the ability to jump into all these other projects, which I couldn't do until now. And it's, it's a really nice feeling. Uh, and one of the things I like the best is I prepare uh, River's lunch in the kitchen. And uh, this is some of the granite that I got in a salvage yard. It's uh, over here. It's not necessarily going to be right here where it's its final placement, but I figured why not throw it on top there. I put, put cardboard on top of the rest so, you know, there's not dust and debris going into the, the cupboards. You know, it's one less thing to clean later on. But it feels nice to be able to kind of work in the kitchen. It's starting to feel like it's a home. And in particular so because I have tea that I made outside on the solar parabolic cooker. So. Things are starting to move again. There's still an awful lot left to do, but you know, going into the next 500 days, we've got a lot accomplished here. And uh, I'm proud of what we have left, uh, done so far. And you know, I know we're gonna be proud of what's, uh, what's to come because uh, honestly, I th we've got enough time to do this before winter. We've got several months. It's just wiring, finishing up plumbing and uh, you know, trimming stuff like that. I think if we get locked out of this place and we're not allowed to go in in winter, it's not because the place isn't done, it's because there's some red tape or something and we're kind of sitting waiting for some town process to go through. But in terms of the house being finished, I think we're gonna pull this off. That's it, thanks for watching.